I'm Callie. I'm going to act as Margaret Corbin from the American Revolution. She really is a superhero. Good evening, young fellows. I'm Margaret Corbin. Some people may know me as Molly Pitcher. I was born on November 12, 1751 in West Pennsylvania, but you young folks might know me know it as Franklin County. Well, you might want to know what in the world I had to do with the American Revolutionary War. Well, I'm going to tell you. I fought with my husband, John Corbin, who I married in 1772 when I was 21 years old. John and I were defending Fort Washington in northern Manhattan. We crewed one of the two cannons that the defenders owned. When my husband was shot, I stood up there and took his place. I continued firing that cannon until I was seriously wounded. Later, I became the first woman in the U.S. history to receive a pension from Congress for military service. In 1776, when I was only five years old, my parents were attacked by Native Americans. My father was sadly killed and my mother was kidnapped, never to be seen again. My brother John and I were not, the, were the, not there when the terrible tragedy happened, so I lived with my uncle for the rest of my childhood. After the battle, I went to Philadelphia, completely disabled from my wounds. I was never able to fully heal. In 1779, I received aid from the government. On June 29th, the Council of Pennsylvania granted me $30 to cover my present needs. In 1770, the board was sympathetic to my injuries and impressed with my service and bravery, and granted me half the monthly payment of a soldier in the Continental Army and a new set of clothes. With this act, Congress made me, made me the first woman in the United States to receive a military pension from Congress. I sadly then died in Highland Falls, New York on January 16, 1800, when I was 49 and when I was 49. In 1926, the Daughters of the American Revolution had my remains reburied and erected at the Margaret Corbett Monument in the West Point Cemetery, making me one of only two Revolutionary War soldiers to be buried there. Now you young folks know why the Revolutionary War is so important to me and why you learn about the war in your history lesson. Some people may think of me as a superhero.